Dolly Tribe. Hello, hello, hello. This is Evie Cave Club Sunshine here today with Raquel. And I also have Ruby right up there. And joining us today will be the entire crew of Cave Club. Well, not the entire crew, but the majority of the crew of Cave Club. And the first person we have here is Slate. And then we have Vanessa and Bashley, Bashley, Bashley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this Raquel was procured from Walmart. Um, she was nine dollars at one store and then seven ninety four at another store. I saw her for nine ninety four. Unfortunately, my mother went. Uh, a couple of days later and saw her $7.94 someplace else. So um, there you go. But here is Raquel from the store shelves. And as you can see, there is her beautiful name, Raquel, looking all Flintstone-like. And here she is in the case. Cave Club by Mattel. Bloop, bloop, Mattel, Mattel. All right, you guys. Um, here is the back and they have beautiful, um, art style. I just love it. It's so reminiscent of the Flintstones to me. I'm sorry. I know I say that every time I bring up the cave club, but it's the truth. I was an eighties baby. So they were still playing Flintstone stuff when I was a kid. And I happened to be in love with the Hanna-Barbera legends. Okay. And there's a closer up of Raquel's beautiful face in our in an artistic render. Oh Lord. Uh-uh, kitty. Woo-woo. -uh. No, no, no. Don't play with my drawstring. <laughs> don't please don't play with my drawstring. Lord have mercy. Kitty. Kitty. Chubble up. Chubble up. Chubble up. Uh-uh. <laughs> Chubs. Uh-uh. <laughs> no chub. Don't do that, chubble wubble. Chubble wubble. It was really tearing me up just now. It took everything in me not to be screaming. Come here, Chubba Wubba, so I can introduce you to the world of the Dolly Tribe, okay? Here is Chubbs. Say hi, Chubbs. Say hi. <laughs> That's my beautiful Chubb, Chubba Wubba. That's my Chubba Wubba. Okay. Now that I have introduced you guys to Chubba Wubba, <laughs> let's get back to the video all right so i'm now gonna open raquel and we're just gonna talk about everything this packaging is not that difficult to get into you see you just kind of peel the card off well <laughs> The card is taped on pretty good, so I'm not going to worry about that. Ta taped on to the front of the packaging. So, now we just have this that we need to um, remove the doll and her contents from. There is her pet, Teddy Rex. And here is this little cute stalagmite looking thing or crystal right here that I like to save from the packaging. All right. I'm taking stuff out so that we can review everything. Just overview it all. Okay. Thank you for starting to be kind of mild, Chubba Wubba. I can't have you dictating the entire video, no matter how cute you are. Okay, we got a tab in the back of the head. Oh, and it came out. Thank God it came out. Now I just have to get the her little pigtails are in these. I'm going to see if I can just pull it out or what. Oh, I can pull it out. Okay, good. I didn't have to cut that part out. And now, now Raquel has been set free. Oh, she's so pretty, y'all. She's so pretty. So let me get her in front of the camera. So... <laughs> You guys won't be missing what I'm what I'm doing here. So here is Raquel, and I have long awaited Raquel. I have been she's on my been on my wish list for forever. Chubba Wub, Chubba Wubba, Chubs, can you not do that to me, please? All right, 
um chubb still wants to use my leg as a scratch post so here is raquel on her face she has four like little um pastel green dots under each eye she has pretty blue eyes it looks like she has um the same kind of green dots above her eyebrows she has like a turquoise type of eyebrow with a darker color kind of to highlight the hairs and then she has pink eyeshadow and probably some mascara and eyeliner on too which in cave club times who knows where they get that from she has a very um light pink lip almost like a nude color and she kind of has pursed lips like she's saying mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> or something like that i don't know um i'm not caught up to the series on youtube and all that so i have no idea um what's going on with that but i think her face is really cute i think she has the same face as Vanessa. i think if i know anything about face molds which with cave club they're new so I'm not quite sure if I would get that right. <laughs> not sure at all. Here is Vanessa, so let's bring her up. Yeah, she does have the same face mold as Vanessa. <laughs> oh, boy. And what does Vanessa have on her nose? Well, I had her in a little um, tote, like a little miniature shoebox size tote. And... um I think she was pressed up against the lid, so it put a little spot on her nose. But um, anyway, here is Bashley, and she has this beautiful, like, um, turquoisey hair mixed with a, like, a fuchsia and purple infusion in there as well. as little streaks. I love her little pigtails. Um, I like her, whatever this is. It looks like some kind of little um, neck piece of some sort. Um, she has on like a jumper or something and it looks like it's snake printed on her and it's pink, green and black, I guess, maybe even some orange or yellow throughout that somewhere. It's very cute. A lot of, um, unfinished edges on this, but I do like that they, you know, spike it and that sort of thing. Kind of like it was ripped from like cloth or something. I do like that. And here's her little leg warmers, which I'm surprised. See, I've taken them off of, mo of some of my dolls just because I find it irritating. Like, I think they could have found another thing to do. Um, probably like little arm cuffs or something more than the leg warmers. So I'm not a fan of the leg warmers, but hers are that pastel -y or neon green. And it looks a little like... Like it could be like fur or knitted or something. So it would seem like it would be mostly hot in whatever climate they look like they live in. But I guess it gets cold and their ankles get cold first. <laughs> I don't really know. But uh, for these dolls, if you're not aware, they have um, the, I don't know, they have extra articulation, not just the five points. I think they have like 10 or 11 points of articulation. Um, or maybe not minus, minus that with the ankles cause they have no ankle articulation. So maybe only like nine points or something like that of articulation. Um, they usually each all come with the little head piece for Raquel. Hers kind of looks like Rochelle Goyle, um, kind of stony, um, you know, like the little minerals or whatever, the little dots that, that are in like stone. She has this in her headband. Um, I don't know why it reminds me of Rochelle Goyle from Monster High, but it does. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. There's like little dots, like stone, like dots that are in stone <laughs> or marble or something um, or granite even. It may be granite, but um, this is Raquel. There's the bottom of her little feet. And I really like these dolls. They're really cute. She's cute. So let's talk about some of the things that she comes with. While she stands next to her buddy Slate. The first thing I want to talk about is this amazing comb. Like the newer girls, like Ruli and Lumina or Lumina, whatever her name is, Lumina. Um, they all have this new comb, but my version of Raquel also has this new comb. I've seen versions of her 
with the bone comb. And then I've seen versions of her with this really cute land before time looking, looking comb. It really reminds me of the land before time. Any like dinosaur movie <laughs> that was cute and was back in the day when I was younger reminds me of Cave Club. See, that's Littlefoot and that's Sarah and I don't know, this is Ducky. <laughs> there is Ducky flying in the air. I don't know. Or Pete or what was it? What was the other night? Petrie or something. <laughs> they all are in this comb, okay? So it's super duper cute. It's super duper cute. And then there's Rochelle Goyle in the background. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just kind of funny. I'm talking about Raquel and then Rochelle. <laughs> All right. The next thing I'd like to talk about is her little cute pet. Um, It's called Teddy Rex. I don't know if Teddy Rex is alive or she just like likes to like carry him around because he looks like he's a stuffed animal. <laughs> So I don't know if he talks or whatever. She just like takes him everywhere she goes. Either way, he's super cute. And usually all the pets can move at the neck and he's no exception. And all of them usually have some kind of um, fun, like little tuft of hair on their head. So even Teddy Rex looks like he has a, a little pink puff of um, cotton candy or dyed cotton on top of his head. <laughs> he's super cute though. Look at his little teeth. Super adorable super adorable in the little eyes it's so cute you see the texture he's super cute guys all right but the next item here is this pink little diary or tablet of uh raquel's and i think it's super cute very cute and it still has those little like granite dots in in them i don't know what the dots in granite are called but it makes you it lets you know that you're messing with some stone type stuff, some marbly stone type type stuff. And she kind of has it like where she can carry it on her wrist with this little rope piece here. And then when you open it up, it looks like a sketch of Teddy Rex and then somebody's tooth or something um embedded into the stone and then looks like she has like some little stick figure people up there and some written some written stuff here, hieroglyphics or just her little handwriting or something like that, telling whatever it is that she wants to talk about. I imagine every time she has a new thought, she has to make a new tablet. <laughs> Cause you know, it's not like a whole bunch of pages in here. Maybe it's supposed to act like it's a lot of pages, but not a lot of pages in there, but it's super cute nonetheless. So there we go. Here is Raquel. And now I am about to get Ruli out. And take a look at beautiful Ruli. Here we are again. And we're still talking cave club. This time I have Miss Ruli. Isn't she cute? This is the Amazon hassle-free packaging, environmentally friendly packaging. Um, not a lot of plastic, that sort of thing. I've already opened her up. All right, you guys, I guess it's gotten dark enough in the house for the light to come on my camera. <laughs> if there is a manual way to do it, I haven't figured it out yet. I probably will, though, because night or day, I like the light coming from my phone in order to um, illuminate the dolls and make them look better because they're looking they're all looking quite better in the um, in the room here. OK, so here is the box. It's really cute. I've already opened it, but I didn't take the, like, I didn't unpackage her or anything. I didn't get rid of any of the restraints or anything on Ruli. Look at that. Such a cute picture. Such a cute picture. She's so adorable. I love her whole aesthetic. I really do. And there is her pet thesaurus. This is looking super cute. Look at the sparkle in his eyes. So cute. Then there goes our Cave Club logo, our Mattel logo. Here is the side of the box. Beautiful artwork as always by whoever does this. It says here, Ruli, the first and youngest genius, is super smart and leads the charge on prehistoric problem solving. Then it has it in other wonderful languages. And then here it is again. And it's so cute because it has like little math symbols and stuff on the side. 
I don't know what um what Raquel's box said. I didn't tell you guys. I'm sorry. So let me jump in real quick to tell you what Raquel's box said. Raquel. Raquel is a skilled dino writer who loves showing her friends the world is full of roaresome surprises. Roaresome surprises. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Now you know what Raquel's thing says. And now let's get Ruli out of the box. Wow. Here she is on her card. And as you can see, it's not a lot of hassle getting Ruli out of the packaging, out of the box anyway. So what I'm going to do is get her items out of here. We do have a few things to cut and all that. So cutting that out. And then it's a little bit of tape. And then it's all taped with her little hair accessory bag. Okay. Sorry for that obnoxious noise. And then she has a couple of um, fasteners on her. Oh boy, I don't want to cut her. Or Uh oh, it's like I'm going to cut some hair if I don't. Okay, I didn't cut any hair, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I cut any hair. All right, so let's get her out. She's a little harder to get out than um, Raquel, as far as her hair and stuff. I want to make sure she didn't get too crazy in the packaging, which I can understand. So, I'm not going to show the doll just yet. I'm going to go... I'm kind of going to go backwards from what I did with um, Raquel. So let's look at this. This is her little hair accessory. It goes with the color scheme of Ruli. And I always say these little bags. These little bags right here. <laughs> I always save them to try to put something else in the store because the tape is really good on those bags and you can like kind of like reseal them and that sort of thing. So I like that. So here is her accessory. It's like a little barrette with some like extensions on it and teal in like a peach color. I think it's super cute. Yeah, super cute. Now I'm opening up her other, her Petner accessories. Seal this bag back up. Never know what you can put in these bags, so you can either put the items back in and you know, however, you want to work that. So, here we go. So, here is Ruli's bag, it just looks like it's kind of like a plain bag with little spikes on the side and little zigzags on the strap, and it has an opening to put in, I believe, her little laptop thingamajig. Has a little bone hanging off the zipper deal there. So I love the color on it. Very neon green, lime-ish. And it's just very cute. The next thing here is her little tablet deal, her little laptop thingy. And it's a really cute corally color. And it looks like it could be stone with the little texturizing that they do to it. And um, I'm not going to fold mine right now. Just kind of going to keep it open and appreciate it how cute it is. Has a little graph on here. Not really sure what um, she's actually researching or whatever, but <laughs> looks like it's intense to her. Really cute. And it looks smaller than it does you know, when other people review it. <laughs> it looks it looks smaller than when other people review this. So kind of shocked it's this small, but what can I really expect? Ruli is super small and so are all the other Cave Club characters. So I'm just gonna stick her graph in her bag, her little laptop thingy, but I didn't fold it. All 
right, the next item here is the comb again. You guys have seen this comb. Um, this one is kind of like a banana yellow color. Um, it has the same dino pick on here, which I think is really cute. Like I said, it looks like the creatures from the land before time. That Don Bluth animated film that came out in the 90s that was super awesome or late 80s. I don't really know. Somewhere around in there. But I enjoyed the heck out of that movie. Um, they had several other uh, movies to follow the first one, which were not as good as the first one. But um, I was still a kid, so I got to enjoy all of them. So if you remember Land Before Time, tell me if these creatures look sort of like the ones on that movie. If you were young enough to remember it. <laughs> but this is a super cute comb. Everybody's wild about that comb and they should be. Next, we have Ruli's pet thesaurus. He's super cute. Mostly all the cave club pets can move at the head. I think that's about the only articulation they have. Look at his dude. He's like two different tones of blue. And then he has some sweet colors that he shares with Ruli that make up the rest of his color scheme on him. His glasses are coral, just like her hair. Um, he has lime green, just like on her bag. Um, so then he has like the yellow kind of like in her bow and stuff. He's just super cute. He's like a dodo bird or something. I don't know, some kind of condor or dodo bird or something. <laughs> some kind of prehistoric bird. I don't know. Look at those feet though. Wow. And what does he use to gel his hair? <laughs> I shudder to think. I really do. But he's cute. Okay. And let me see if I can push this down just a little bit so you can see the items there. Let me rotate it more to this side so you can see the cave club, folks. All right. And now it's time to show the girl of the hour, <laughs> who is probably my favorite cave club character now. And this is Miss Ruli. Miss Ruli. Here she is. Ooh. Isn't she so cute? And sorry if I scared you with that little ooh. <laughs> with that little exclamation of uh, joy I just had just now looking at her. She is super duper cute. Um, Love her outfit. Love the colors that they use for her. Love her hair texture. It's just super duper cute. Look at it. Super duper cute. Like, you don't mess with this hair though, but it's super, super duper cute. Most of my dolls that have coral, um, not coral, but um like spiral curl hair i don't mess with their hair too much i just kind of pull it out like this even like on my integrity dolls or my barbie dolls that have hair like this i never use the comb on it because i have a fear that it's going to spaz out now look at her bow on top of her head is delightfully cute um, the rubber band is doing the holding up of the hair for the most part. And then this bow kind of clips around it. So I like that. And then um, this looks like chicken scratch of some sort. <laughs> Maybe she wrote some notes and, you know, and she didn't have room in her bag. So she kind of squished her paper, put a thing around it and stuck her little wooden pencil in there. But since she has like banana colored paper i want to know where she got that parchment from i want to know next let's take a look at her beautiful like little glasses i'm not going to detach them from her face because i saw somewhere that when you do that they're pretty much not gonna hold as sturdy as you want them so i'm not about to do that oh look at that detail like right right here in between her two frames you see it? It's like she's held her glasses together with some kind of like twine or rope or something. Super cute. It looks like they broke before. Somebody etched them out of stone and then they broke and then she like used the same color stone to wrap around the middle. <laughs> but she has like these little purple amethyst looking color eyes. I don't know. They're super cute. I love purple. So she has the purple eyes, the perfect eyes. <laughs> for me <laughs> oh goodness gracious i'm kind of hyper you guys i'm rarely ever hyper and i'm not on anything besides my normal medication so i'm just high on life 
we have to be joyful about life because, um, you know, in this day and age, you never know when your moment's the last. You know, every every day is the present. So just keep it moving and try to enjoy life while you can. I hope that's not too morbid for you guys. <laughs> I hope it's not too morbid. But um, she's super duper cute. I'm going to hold her back here so you can see her outfit once again. She has like one of those choker clips on and it's like in a reddish color for her little bow tie, which I think is cute. Um, This is two pieces. So she has this cute little blouse on this white blouse with a multicolored background with just different shapes on it. With different shapes on it. And then she has orange uh zigzaggy or swirly suspenders which i think is really cute and then she has like this cute turquoise skirt with etchings of um or print of like leopard kind of print mixed with mathematic symbols looks like the equal sign the pi sign the multiplication sign um there's probably some others in there that I'm not smart enough to know about. Uh, did I already say pi? There's the pi symbol, the plus sign, the greater than sign or less than, <laughs> whichever one. And then um, she has the zigzag edges too, which they like to do a lot throughout the whole line. Everybody has a little zigzag on them, I believe, as far as I know. See, here's Slate. He has zigzag, those edges zigzaggy. Then we have for Nessa, zigzaggy. <laughs> and then we have, um, oh goodness, Bashley. <laughs> and she has zigzags of some sort. So they all end up having them. And it's super cool that they do. It It's a cohesiveness in the line. So here is beautiful Ruli. She even has, this freaked me out. I was so crazy about this when I first saw it. She has a sundial as a watch. It doesn't get any better than that. What time does it tell you that it is? Do you see the shadow? <laughs> I don't know. And I love her skin tone. She is now my favorite doll just because she's darker than, she's darker than Vanessa. So y'all know I love me some dark skin dolls. And she's even darker than Vanessa. If you want to see what I'm talking about, let me bring her up here. You see? You see how darker she is than Vanessa? So I'm loving her. I am loving Miss Ruli. She's super duper cute. I love the color scheme with her. Um, I don't like her little leg warmer things. I think they really just could have did something else. They're too chunky or something for me. That's the first problem I have with it. Anyway, but here's the back of her um, outfit in case you didn't get to see it. And then look how cute her ears are. They have the cutest little ears. Their faces remind me of Christy, Kirsty Trollson. Like all of the cave club remind me of Kirsty Trollson. I don't know why from um, Monster High. So she's super cute, you guys. Um, do I want to take her glasses off? I think I, I can figure out a way to put them together because you guys have got to see this adorable face. So give me just a second here. Hi, Peekaboo. Do you want to say hi to my dolly tribe? My doll, my doll fellow doll lovers out here? So this is what her glasses look like off. I kind of did a brute thing and just like pulled them out of her head. I can reshape them though. Oh my goodness, y'all should see this little cute, adorable face. Ooh, she's so cute. Look at her. Dolly Tribe, look at her. She is adorable. Yeah, she's definitely my favorite now. I'm sorry. <laughs> she is my absolute fave. I love this doll. She is super duper cute. Keep them coming, Mattel. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's in her eye. It was. Okay, a little hair. Okay, so look at her eyes. Look at her face. Oh, she just has the most adorable little face. Oh, 
Do they have the same? Nope, they don't have the same face mold. Maybe they do. It's hard to tell. But she is adorable, you guys. You really just need to... <laughs> she looks smaller than them. Is she smaller than them? No, I guess she's about the same size. She looks kind of smaller than them. I don't know. She's really cute, you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments about her. I think I'm going to leave her glasses off her because I feel like somebody else who reviewed this doll. That's just a, a silly stereotype because I'm four-eyed and I'm not a genius. So they need to quit doing that. <laughs> and the pie symbol and the heart on her face is super cute. Um, I don't know if I said anything about it, but there it is. All right, you guys. I don't know what day this is coming out, so... Whatever day it is in your neck of the woods, I hope that you enjoy the rest of it. And thank you for dipping in the Domosphere with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, do not forget to keep that sunshine in your life. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm through being silly. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Wait a minute, you guys. I forgot to show my friend Peekaboo to you guys. He's going on to the shelter soon. Come here, Peekaboo. I know you're doing what you need to do in life. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, baby. So cute. Here is Peekaboo, you guys. Peekaboo is shy. <laughs> Isn't that the sweetest face? All right, you guys, I gotta go. Bye-bye.